Good afternoon. Happy, wonderful Wednesday. Leslie here with the plaid poodle. I have a new mic, so um, I'm hoping that the sound will improve. But give me a thumbs up if you're there, um, just so I know you can hear me. Just click on that little thumbs up or a smiley face or something. I think it's working. Awesome. I'm going to turn on messages. I'm still learning this whole, whole situation. <laughs> hey, Donna. Hey, Candy. Somehow I can put these messages up where I can see them as they come in. Here, I think it's here. Awesome. Okay, good. Good. And I am looking into a webcam because I am noticing that um, I think the little camera on my laptop, you know, the Surface, it's an old laptop and I think it's kind of, I'm kind of fuzzy and a little blurry. So maybe I'm, I'm improving the sound and maybe I'm improving, I'll improve the picture too. We are going to do some fun cards today. I made some extra samples. I came down here into my studio last night and um, went to town. I just, um, yesterday I was a little, bleh, a little depressed. I went for a drive, went through a drive through and got, I'll be honest, I got a, what did I get? I got a chocolate brownie. It was a lot of chocolate, but I felt like it was justified because my day, it just felt like I needed a lot of chocolate. It had a brownie, chocolate ice cream, hot fudge from Freddy's, and I did not get the mini, folks. I, I did not get the large, but I did not get the mini. So, um, I came home and I just thought, I'm going to go down and craft or stamp and that'll maybe pull me out of this funk. And it worked. I had so much fun. So let me share with you what I did. And then um, we will look at the card we're going to make today. In fact, I'll put it out. My dog's going haywire outside. But I think she can get in. One of these cards I did post um, I did post on um, my social media, on my Facebook page, this one, but I did change it up a bit. I had just stamped on some cardstock, and I decided I liked it better with, um, I just stamped it in a petal pink, kind of get a no-line look, and then I colored them with stamp and blends and I it just looks a little softer and I kind of liked it better another little thing that I did on this one is I cut out um, I think four or five of the little alohas hi loopy and I stacked them because I, I really wanted to put a stamp and dimensional under it but it's so tiny I couldn't figure out how to do it so I did an old Jennifer McGuire trick and I just stacked, I think I stacked four on top of each other. So I don't even know if you can kind of tell. But it's raised up off the surface and I liked it better. And I thought about taking some um, fine tip glue pen and going over it and making it real shiny. But I haven't gotten to that. And then I just die cut the three leaves. Let me show you the stamp set that I use. It's Timeless Tropical. And we'll go over these other two. Um, I just, I think the Memorial Day weekend coming up made me kind of want to <laughs> go on a vacation. But I'm not going on a vacation. So um, I thought, well, let's make some cards. I hadn't really played with this set at all. And our weather's getting warmer, so it's more um, in line really nice versatile set it's on page let me see it's on page the suite is on page 38 39 and 40 of the mini catalog which will be going away on June 2nd which is fast approaching um, this bundle however is carrying over 
there just will not be a bundle price. So if you purchase it, if you're interested in it and interested in saving 10%, um, if you purchase it before January, or June 3rd, you save 10% on the bundle. So it's got these cute little leaves, little palm leaves. There's a die for this leaf, a die for the flower, the little flower, which I used a lot. I um, didn't do anything with this larger flower. The palm trees, the, I'll show you the one card I used the palm trees for. And then the little... Um, pineapple which is really cute and I, I if I had time I was going to make a background paper using the little pineapple then there's this awesome little aloha thing that I used on this card and I used the paper from the series I didn't check to see if it was still available um, but it coordinates beautifully with this stamp set and then um, the three little flowers. I think I used everything in this set except for the large flower and this little leaf. But it's just it's just kind of a fun set if you like like that look. I we're gonna do a lot of playing today. We're gonna watercolor. We're gonna heat emboss. We're gonna. Um, splatter. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of stuff today. So that's the card I shared yesterday. I used a little vellum to back it up. I didn't want to hide that beautiful paper. And then I created this card as well yesterday and I just used the two, the palm tree. I took a piece of watercolor paper and ran some pool party over the top and then a little, um, what was it? Why can't I remember the color? Uh, soft suede for the sand. I just watercolored that over with a, um, here I am with my words again, an aqua painter, okay? Then I used the little flower dye. I put it away, but there's a flower dye that has three different dyes and I stacked them. And I used two of the palm leaves to kind of tuck under there. And then I heat embossed with um, the soft suede and Versamark and clear embossing powder for the um, sentiment. Then I layered it on Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, the designer series paper, and the card base is Pretty Peacock. I thought it was real pretty. Um, I have a friend in Florida that I might send this one to. And if she's watching, I just gave the secret away. Okay, and then the card we're going to make today, it's probably not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> but I saw a card made by, I'm going to get her name right, Lauren Allerid, A-L-A-R-I-D. She, she has a blog called The Crafty Little Peach and she had made a watercolor pineapple with these bright vibrant colors and you guys know how I like bright vibrant colors it's my favorite so we're gonna do that today the background I hope you can see there we go that is a new embossing folder that's coming up it's called Timeless Textures and it's just a really subtle um, pattern that I think is supposed to look a little bit like fabric. I thought it went really well with the tropical theme. And I'm going to get this cord out of y'all's way real quick. Here we go. Okay, so we better get started because this takes a little bit, a little minute. We've got a lot of little things we're going to do. Don't, <laughs> that cord's going to fall again. Don't forget the hostess code for May. Every order or every $30 increment that you purchase during the month of May through me, I'll put your name in the hat to win the little ladybug stamp set. And I also got the bright idea today to, um, I'd like to mail the card we're going to make today to someone. So if you are on right now, 
Current live. If you'll just comment, um, I don't care what you say. Say where you're from. Just say hi. If you'll comment, and if you're watching the replay, comment. And then tomorrow, um, whatever the date is tomorrow. Today's the 20th, so the 21st. I will um, put everybody's name in and draw a winner, and I will mail this card to you because I'm getting some cards stacking up, girls. Okay, my nose is really itchy and I apologize if I have a Kleenex somewhere. I apologize if I keep itching my nose, how rude. I used a card base of just some um, Whisper White, Thick Whisper White, it's um, five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. And then for the next layer, this is Melon Mambo. I think I've said before on here, this is my favorite Stampin' Up! color. <laughs> but there's a new pink coming in the new catalog with the new ink colors that might replace it. And then I just put it in the Timeless Textures. And this is not available until the new catalog goes live on June 3rd. I just put it in there and ran it through and through the magic of television there's our little layer I wonder if you can see better the layer oh there it is see it's just real subtle but it it's a little more than just a flat piece of cardstock so we're just gonna adhere that to the card front And I did call, I mentioned on Monday I was going to call Stampin' Up! and find out when the catalogs are mailed because I use their catalog mailing selector. Um, and they should have gone out. Oh, thank you, Candy. Well, have a nice trip and have a safe trip. Enjoy your family. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. The catalogs went out approximately May 5th. I don't know what that means, but keep on the lookout. And um, I'm praying and crossing my fingers that they get here before my virtual open house. But um, they're on their way. If mine gets here, I will say mine's here, is yours here, and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay, here is. Um, and if you've purchased from me in the last six to nine months, you, you automatically got a catalog. So if, if it's been longer than that, just contact me and we'll get you one. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just make an oval. And I cut an oval out of a piece of... Oh, it looks like three and a fourth by three and a fourth. Using the layering ovals dies, I use the largest... I think I pulled it off of here. I used the largest oval. I wanted big. I wish I had had a bigger one, but this was the biggest one I had. So I did that and I went ahead and cut that out so you guys didn't have to watch me do that. And then, I don't know if you can see, whoop, I splattered it with some gold shimmer. It's called Champagne Shimmer. So I'm going to get out my craft mat because we're going to use this today. We're going to do some messy stuff. My hands aren't real bad. but um, And then I'm going to take the shimmer paint. This is Champagne Mist. Shake it up. There's a little um, marble inside. And then I just take an old cheap paintbrush. You can put this in a stamping spritzer or a little sprayer with um, alcohol and a little of this, some rubbing alcohol and a little of this and spritz it. But I have better luck when I want little splatters just to use a, a paintbrush. I don't even know if the camera's picking this up. I'm just kind of going haywire all over this. It's going to be covered up mostly by the pineapple. But um, a little bit of it will show. 
So I would wash your um, paintbrush as soon as you can because I imagine that will harden on there if you're if you care about your paintbrush. And we're going to set that aside to dry carefully. <laughs> and then I am going to take a wipe. I'm going to wipe off the splatters. Have any of you been able to find Clorox wipes? Oh my gosh. I'm starting to panic. I had some and you know they go to, they they get used. <laughs> so I'm getting a little little panicky on that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out of a piece of um, watercolor paper. And I'm using the pineapple dye. Let's see, how did I do this? You want to, you know, save as much of your paper as possible. But I cut it out of watercolor paper the first thing. And I went ahead and did it. It's just to save time and not to be so monotonous. And now the fun part, I'm going to take a block, um, it's just a Stampin' Block, and I'm going to put some colors on here. And these are um, inks to, to redo your stamp pads. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. They're very inexpensive, and whenever I buy an ink pad, I always buy the re-inker, and I've never had to, I've never had to really buy ink after that. They just last, for, last forever. Okay, I'm going to start out with Melon Mambo. I'm going to put a little Melon Mambo right there. And let me get our card out here. And then I'm also going to put some Grapefruit Grove. I do have a little Grapefruit Grove right through the middle. It's probably not really noticeable. And then the final color for my pineapple is going to be Mango Melody. So I'm going to use these three little colors. Then I'm going to move this because I'm nervous. I'm going to spray a little water. If you put too much on it, it's going to spread really fast. So there's kind of I don't know, probably a science to it, but I don't know. But I'm going to just kind of let that sit for a minute and run the extra off. Then I'm going to take the um, Melon Mambo, and I'm just going to put some down there and watch it and see what happens. Because that water will carry it. Um somewhat and I kind of want the water to get nice and um, or I want the paint to be nice and vibrant now we could we could um, dry that a little bit so it doesn't run into each other and get a little muddy but I am gonna try and take I'm gonna try and do it without it um, was this the yellow? Yeah. I'm going to put some Melon Mambo up here. And I'm really liking how that is, how deep that color is. And then I'm going to take this might be the Melon Mambo. No, this is the Grapefruit Grove. So I'm going to take the Grapefruit Grove and kind of go in the middle and let that be kind of the um, dividing point for those two colors. And then we can just keep doing what we do until we like how it looks. I'm going to put a little Melon Mambo over here. And 
and I'm going to add a little deeper over in this corner. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the yellow over here just to make it a little deeper. And a little bit more grapefruit grove right here in the middle. Okay, I'm going to quit now. <laughs> and we're going to set that aside to dry. Like I said, this may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I thought it was gorgeous. It's a little artsy fartsy, maybe. <laughs> now we're going to do the um, stem. Is that what it's called? The pineapple stem. And we are going to add, I'm going to wipe some of these colors off. Make more space on my block. I'm going to put some Bermuda Bay on there. That's kind of my main color. And then I'm going to use a little bit more Melon Mambo. And then I'm using some Granny Apple Green. And I think I'm going to use a little bit more Mango Melody, which I think was right here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to add some water. Cheek, cheek, cheek. And like I said, if you get too much water, you might want to practice before you try it. Um, it just spreads everywhere. And then your colors kind of bleed together and look a little muddy. Or you could dry in between your colors. So I want a lot of this um, Bermuda Bay on my, put this one over here so you can kind of see that, on my leaf. And I want it to kind of be just right up the center right there. See how the water just kind of took it? And then I'm going to add some of the Mango Melody, and you can also take your paper towel. See, it's getting a little muddy, but I think we're okay, and it'll absorb it right up. And then I'm going to take some of this Granny Apple Green and go over on, it's probably a, a lot, Go over on this side and kind of blend that into that Bermuda Bay. They kind of blend together real well. Hi, Laura. And then we're going to put the Mango Melody up here. And I'm going to put it over here a little bit. Not a whole lot. Let's put a little bit more Granny Apple Green over here. And then I'm going to darken up this um, Bermuda Bay a little bit. Bermuda Bay is another one of my fun, my favorite colors. Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo. I like the Brights family. I like the bright, happy, cheerful colors. Okay, I think that should be enough. We can let that dry. I might have to get the dryer out here in a sec. The other one looks like it's drying pretty good. Clean this up a little bit. Make 
sure my aqua painter is clean. There's not a whole lot of stamping we're doing today. We're going to stamp the um, sentiment. We're going to heat emboss it so I can get rid of this. And we can do that real quick. I'm afraid if I throw that away, I'm going to need it. Okay, um, so here's the card. Here's our card base. Let's go ahead and heat emboss our sentiment. I'm just using a little scrap of Whisper White, some gold embossing powder, some Versamark. And I'm going to use this to dump my powder onto. And my anti-static tool. This is the embossing buddy that retired this year and they sold out. Um, but you can get anti-static tools anywhere. Um, they might look a little different, but you can get them anywhere. You can get anything from Amazon. That's where I got my new microphone. Okay, I'm stamping that with the Versamark ink. And then I'm putting the gold embossing powder over. I'm trying not to dump the whole pot out. I need those little scoops. You know, those little scoops the, the professionals use. Okay, before this gets everywhere, let's put it back in the pot. And then we're going to heat emboss, and um, I don't know how to make this so it doesn't hurt your ears. But I'd like you to see the magic. I'm looking for my tweezers. They're shorter than everything else, so they're really hard to find. <laughs> I have a little thing over here, a little organizer in there. It, they're just shorter and they it's, it makes it hard to find. I'm going to try and put this up here so that you can see the magic happening because it's so fun when the embossing powder melts and just gets all gold and shiny. I hope it shows up. I'm not sure that it did, but... Um, it's gold now instead of that brown powdery color. And we're going to cut that out with a stitched shape, the smallest oval stitch shape framelit. And through the magic of television, <laughs> I have done that. But I wanted you guys to see it it turn because it's so fun. Okay, let's see if our little, um, it's probably a little gummy yet, but that's okay. I am going to go ahead and um, use some dimensionals. Let's see if I have a sheet already pulled out. I was just, um, I'm asking everyone what they're reading now. If you want to share what you're reading, I would love to hear. I have finally learned how to check books, uh, ebooks out of the library. <laughs> I got desperate. So, and I've decided, um, I read years ago, I mean years ago, the Janet Ivanovich books, the Stephanie Plum books, and I, they're just light, they're fluffy, they're, they're silly, 
and I wanted, I had left off. I hadn't read all of them. And so I started all over with book number one and I thought this is going to be kind of boring because I'm going to know everything and it's been so long it's almost like a new book. So I'm on book number two and believe it or not there's a waiting list on the library for those earlier books. I thought everyone in the world had already read those because they've been out a long time, right? I don't know. Anyway, I am enjoying them so much. Um, they're just silly. They make me laugh and I need to do that right now. <laughs> Um, okay, I just put our splattered oval onto the card front, and I'm going to use my um, tool and dry this a little bit. It's still a little... It dries pretty quickly. And the colors lighten up just a tad as they dry. Now I'm going to just take a little bit of liquid glue right on the back of this stem. and make our pineapple. Isn't that cute? I just, I just think it's so cute. It's like a tie-dye pineapple. And like I said at the beginning, this is not my original idea. I got um, the idea for the colorful pineapple from Lauren Allerid. She's the crafty little peach. Um, I believe she was on our artisan design team at one point, so you know she's good. <laughs> Artistic. Now I'm putting Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of the pineapple. And I, I kind of want my oval to show, and I put her, I put my oval a little too tall. I should have put my pineapple on my oval first. But it wasn't dry. I want a little to show at the bottom, just to give the pineapple a little, a little base to sit on. And then I'm going to center the pineapple on the card front. Okay. Then for the tag, is that straight? If I'm giving this away, I want to make sure, I'll make sure you get the best one. I don't want to have any doo-doos, any mix-ups. Now, since we have two layers of dimensionals, we have one on the oval and one on the pineapple, I am going to add two layers of dimensionals on my tag right over here in this corner that's gonna um, run off the the pineapple so I'll put one on there that's cool it's because you're so intellectual candy <laughs> you're my smart friend I have completely turned the television off. There's just nothing on. I have Hulu right now, and I think if I had Netflix, there's some things I could get lost in because there are some th good things I've heard about some of the some of the shows on Netflix. 
Might have to cancel my Hulu and get on Netflix. Okay, there's my little tag, my little hello tag. Now I'm going to make a little bow up at the top, at the base of the, the stem with linen thread. Netflix is great. Yeah, there's a lot of things um, that I started on Netflix. I used to pirate it off my kids, and then they went to Disney+. Plus. So, um, <laughs> Acorn, is that on? is that on Netflix? I've heard of that. I've heard people talk about that, Donna. But there's your Dead to Me on there that I watched the first season that I, I know the second season's out. I'd like to see that. It's kind of a dark comedy. I'm probably telling you guys too much about me. Um, and then Ozark, that's very dark. Um, through Prime. Well, I have Prime, so I'll check that out. I do have Prime. Okay, there is my little bow. And I'm going to just tag it on here with some, tack it on with some, uh, oh, the, the acorn cost extra on Prime. You've seen Ozark and Dead to Me? Yeah. Did you like them? Loopy? Because <laughs> I really liked them. Uh, I've watched both seasons of Ozark, and now I guess the third one's out. Oh, my gosh. So I really, yeah, you guys talked me into it. I need to get back on, um, oh, $4.99. That's not bad. <laughs> I need to get back on the Netflix. <laughs> Rain. I've heard of that too. I've heard of that one too. See, I nobody's mentioning Hulu shows. <laughs> I've been watching the Mindy Mindy show um, on Net, uh, Hulu. Okay, now I'm going to add this little flower with a die, which I forgot to pull that one out. So you guys are going to have to watch me die cut something. Rain. Did Rain used to be on the CW? Because I think I might have watched it on that. Hopefully I left some Whisper White hanging around. Excuse my reach, people. Here's the Whisper White. Okay, I'm going to cut out these two flowers, or three flowers. Here's the flower die. We're going to die cut that out. using the flowers to make an embellishment with the rhinestone. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not going to use all three. I'm just going to use the larger one and the little baby one. They have little stars in the middle that you can also use. They're real tiny. In fact, I don't even see one, so it's probably over on my... Oh, they're right here. They're stuck inside the, uh, the die. They're tiny little stars, which would be cute glued on something. Let's see. Let me put them on here so you can see them. <laughs> they're so little. You're moving next Wednesday in a new craft room. So you're moving to Atchison? There's the little star dies that, that kind of pop out of those flowers. They're kind of cute. 
Um, we'll get that thing set up right away. <laughs> that was the first thing I did. <laughs> well, my kitchen. You got to get your kitchen. We moved into this house. And then we had to just how it worked. We had to, we had already had a family trip planned to visit my um, husband's brothers. Um, I think one of his, I think his nephew or niece were, were, was graduating. So we basically moved in and the next day had to go to that. And that was hard. <laughs> so then we came home to a mess three days later. But I, you know, you always get your kitchen done. We had our bed made, kind of. It all gets taken care of. Okay, I'm kind of bending the flower up. I'm, I'm doing stuff and not telling you what I'm doing. I kind of just bent it. And now I'm going to put a little glue on the bottom. Not on the star. There's a little star hole there, punch. But around the star. We're going to hide that with a uh, rhinestone. And then I'm going to put the little flower over here. Just right over here. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a rhinestone. And I thought a small rhinestone or a medium rhinestone, but it was too small. So I'm using a large, one of the large ones. Come here right in the middle there. There we go. Oh, you like the bright colors too? See, some, you know, some people do, some people don't. Um, I thought it was, it's just my cup of tea. I love, um, and it just reminds me kind of of a tie-dye, tie-dye. I just thought it was really cute. So thank you, Lauren Al Alarid of the Crafty Little Peach for your inspiration. She did hers, she did her, um, pineapple and then just backed it all on white so her pineapple was um, the center of attention but I just added some um, color. I don't know if you can kind of see how the little um, watercolors blended in together. It's kind of fun. So y'all thank you for joining me today. Um, don't forget the hostess code and the uh, free you know I'm going to give away this stamp this um, stamp set at the end of the month um, and then I'll pick everybody who comments on today's deal <laughs> will um, go in for a drawing and I'll mail you today's card that we made um, what else what else is new all my stuff is coming tonight for our make and take for the virtual open house so if you haven't signed up for my virtual open house it's June 3rd at 7 o'clock p.m. You can go to leslie.stampinup.net and click on events and there's a spot for you to click that you're going and then it will ask for your contact information and I will contact you for your address and I will send you a make and take packet for that evening or if you want to watch the replay. Um, and I've already got the card designed. I'm just waiting for one thing to arrive, which it's arriving tonight. Um, if you all are waiting for your May card class to go, it says I it's on its way and I will have it by 9 p.m. tomorrow night. <laughs> and I got a shipment yesterday and it showed up like at 8.15. So 
If it comes earlier, I will notify you that it's here. But as soon as that hits the ground, I have the boxes packed up, ready to put your stamp set and your punch in it. And for everyone who had porch pickup, you can come get it. And the ones who mailed it, I will mail it out um, Friday for sure. So if you're local, you should get it on Saturday because it's priority mail and they usually only takes one day. So we're happy about that. Uh, <laughs> shipping has slowed down a little bit with Stampin' Up! because they're um, just how they're stacking their staff so that they keep their staff um, distance from each other. And anyway, I think it's like that everywhere. I've even had Amazon packages that are supposed to get here in a day or two, and they they take longer. So um, we just have to be patient, one of those things. Um, if you all have any questions or I can help you in any way, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And thank you so much for joining me. We will, um, if I don't see you before, well, Monday's a holiday. Should we do make it Monday? I mean, it's no different in my life. Um, I might do my, might do make it Monday on a, <laughs> on the holiday. Um, if not, um, I'll let you know and maybe we'll do it on Tuesday. But um, anyway, you guys let me know um, if it matters to you or not. You can always watch the replay. So we will talk soon. Have a great rest of your week and an awesome weekend. Stay safe. Love you guys. Bye.